Hey everyone, and welcome back to New Camilo. So, previously, when we uh, were playing, I hope I paused, um, we had gone and built this entire area here. Um, traffic's still flowing through, it's, it's getting backed up a little bit, but there's not much we can do about that right now. It's, it's, it's okay as it is. Um, we'll come back in here and we'll see if there's anything we can do about that later on. Um, but I wanted to go around and actually start comedifying Comedifying? Adding some humor um, into the world. Um, so you might notice a couple of things different. Um, for one, um, well, the colors are extremely different. Um, I went and downloaded a mod. Um, so rather than using the realistic color mod, I'm using a desert color mod right now. So it's inappropriate, you know. Um, Australia is very dry, and this makes things feel very dry. Um, that's good. I, I rather like it. So we are, we are using this. That, that house. Wow, that's a hell of a house. Um, so yeah, um, we've merged together all these districts here. I'm not sure if I got the name right, but I've, I've merged all the, together all the districts here. Um, because in the in the process of comedifying everything, um, we're going to rename some of these districts. Um, I'm still uncertain, unsold, on whether or not I'm going to go and actually rename all the places we've got here. I think these are good for now. Um, I'll probably stick with them. But certainly when we go out into new districts and such, we'll be renaming them. Uh, we'll do the same out here. We're gonna, we are actually gonna rename this area. Um, I know I was going to go Aurora East, Aurora West, um, all the way around. Um, but for now, I think it's fine. Um, we'll come in there and do that. We'll deal with that later on. Wow, what a way to start! Uh, we're now a capital city. Damn, twenty-eight thousand people. That's a very small capital city. Uh, looks like we're having trash problems out here. running. It's just, it's got a lot of trash in it. Uh, we should probably actually start this off by getting a second garbage incinerator. So help out the first. And that should hopefully help out with the trash problems in here. But anyway, while that's all working out and doing its own thing, we're getting plenty of money. We have plenty of money. The traffic here isn't that bad. We don't have to worry about this immediately, but we will come back and see what we can do about it. Um, I'm starting to think literally all we can really do here is just add two lanes to this off ramp and maybe the other one as well. Um, but the people still going the left lane to, to merge in, so they don't do anything, perfectly frank. Um, but yeah, so I've already got plans. I've already got plans. I've already come up with some names um, to comedify everything, so let's get started. Um, right. We'll start off with Concord Mills, I think. So rather than Concord Mills, we are calling this, uh, what was it? The... C H E D L D, the Nukeld. I suppose the Keldud, the Keldud, the New Camilo Highly Explosive Drug Lab District, um, which is the whole reason New Camilo can boast that it doesn't have as many drug labs as the old Camilo, because all the drug labs are, are now federally funded. You know, kind of actual industrial plants and. We're making a shit ton of money out of it. That's why we have three million dollars. We're a very, very rich city because, you know, we've just gone and said, you know, drug labs, make it a thing. Um, in fact, you know what? I could, I could make recreational use a thing. Um, slightly increased tax income, moderately increased tourism. Wow, it increases tourism. That's funny. Um, slightly reduced crime rate, increase, uh, increases police budget by. 50. You know what? Fuck it. Recreational use. It is now a thing. Um, we're also going to turn on inside, uh, recycling as well. Um, that's going to drop down our money income fairly high, to a fairly large degree. Um, but hopefully that's kind of offset by um, recreational use. Ah, uh, it's not dropping as fast as I thought it might, but we'll, we'll keep an eye on this number basically while we go and do other things. Um, that's, it is still dropping. We probably don't need the weird slither or, or nickeld, nickelded. To actually, well, the Kelded, we don't need to have recreational use. We do need recycling. We don't need people to be able to recreationally use drugs while in the drug labs. It's probably a bad idea. Um, they are highly explosive drug labs. Um, we just basically want to make sure that everybody in these districts doesn't really feel the need to make their own drug labs, you know? We need to be supplying them. We need to be having a plenty good supply of drugs. Um, so now our industrial demand and office demand is really a, a demand for, for drugs, basically. Um, money's still dropping, still going. All right, so, we 
not renaming any of these just yet. I, I, have, I have not sold on the idea of renaming any of these, but I did want to rename this. I did want to rename the, the area here. Well, it's not even actually named yet, so it's not really renaming if it hasn't got a name. Um, so we're going to zone this out. In fact, let's zone it all the way up here. So we're actually supposed to, to grow. There we go. Highland Heights. Let's remove those policies. Um, we'll leave recycling on. I don't really think it's going to do much. Actually, no, let's, re let's turn off to recycling. It's a freaking garbage. Um, and we are going to call this the Liberal Vote Repository. I shouldn't leave it to Um... We are going to go down here. I haven't, I haven't decided what to call the wind farm yet, but I have decided what to call this area. We're going to hop in here. We're going to zone up these buildings. It would be funny. Just gonna name this. Um, we are going to turn off recreational use and recycling out here, and we are going to rename this Tony's Mouth. Treatment. No, nah, I can't call it treatment plant. We just keep it. Tony's mouth sewage treatment. Yeah, that work. That will work. Again, don't need to explain myself. Um, we are going to go over to here, and we are going to name this something. Um, I haven't decided what we're going to call it yet. We'll figure that out while we do other things. Um, I did a whole bunch of other stuff as well. Um, I have gone and got... Wow, that's a... Weird... Bright-ass colours. Um, I've got a footy oval. So if I actually... I, you can't see anything. I have to put it down somewhere. Um, we, need a, we need a footy oval somewhere. It's very large. Um, it has a very large area of effect. Maybe we should put it down like somewhere out here. So that um, it can start impacting the area. That'll do. We'll, we'll put it right there. There we go, look. It's an Australian rules football field. With a gazebo, which... I've never really seen a football field that has a gazebo near it. But I suppose you work with what you've got, right? It looks pretty good. I'm pretty happy with that. So, we're going to call this football field... Uh, what are we going to call this field? football field? We're going to call this football field uh, the Colin Barnett Sharks field. So uh, the, the team isn't particularly good; they, they keep on getting slaughtered. But Colin Barnett's Sharks field that, that's that's our local team. Um, this can be their home field, home ground. Yep, which is why it's kind of shitty. Um, right. Is there anything else I need to do? The Weird Slither. We're going to rename this. We're going to... Actually, no. Should we keep it... Should we keep the Weird Slither? I feel like we should keep the Weird Slither. Because it is... It is kind of weird. Tra... Uh, we've got car problems up here. We'll, we'll figure that out. But for now, I think we'll keep the Weird Slither. Um, everything else is fine. Hmm... Traffic is building up back here as well. It's not good. What's with this industrial demand? Okay, we need to we need to pay attention to that. Um, let's do that. Let's let us pay attention to said industrial demand. Um, we need to get some. Well, actually, you know what? We're going to rename the Expo Center first. We're going to call it not the Perth Expo Center because we want people to actually use the thing, um, and hopefully that will you know, give people a good reason to actually turn up. Um, so let's put some roads down. right around the exhibition center. So this is going to be another office district. Um, I was going to make it a um, district for, for housing and such, but we'll make it another office district. Um, we don't particularly care about the fact that the power's got disconnected from it because we're going to reconnect that up very shortly. Um, but for now, let us get roads down. We don't want intersections right next to each other. I don't 
do it that far down. We can bring it that far down, don't we? Um, we want these to connect up. Like that. These to go over here. Ah, so we, can make it, we can keep it a straight line. We want this to maybe go all the way up. Or do we want to? We have another road out here. Ah, oh, that seems to fill the space much nicer. We'll do that. That's a nice big solid thing. Oh, Dylan's gonna love that shit. Um, all right. We may want to kind of extend out the road. There. The same over here. Maybe bring this out. This. Maybe actually connect them up even. Like that. Let's just destroy these power lines for now. We're not going to need them very, very shortly. We'll leave those power lines there because we do need to. Well, actually, no, they're not connected up. So we'll deal with the power line situation right now. So I don't forget. Um, actually, no. You know what? The, the, we're going to put ha um, put shops along this. So let's let's zone in that right now. Um, it's not going to be near residential. But we'll have residential up here, I suppose. This, this will get used because people come in and out to get to the offices. So hopefully, hopefully, it will actually work. Um, that's connected to that road, so we'll remove that one. Now, we want to have this area here be an outright. That's good. Um, and we maybe want to actually connect this up. I feel like there's too many intersections here. I've got some space that's empty in these. Like, that, that's fine. Um, I like this way too much to remove it. But we could actually um, put that a bit, but... No, let's let's keep that little roundabout right down there. That uh, looks fine. We have these big open areas up here that will that that we find. Um, okay, let's get some offices in. So I think, yep, we can just flood fill most of this. I'm pretty sure the demand is going to be for offices, not for industrial. We've got a very very large industrial area right now. We've probably got a very high demand for offices because we're getting a bunch more educated citizens. So we're just going to flood fill all this in. Want another road? Oh, we do want a road up here, actually. Let's do that. Let's get a road. Um, let's actually pick up this intersection and we'll kind of bring it out a bit so the road looks a bit unusual. I'm gonna demolish this. Try to keep that at least somewhat straight. Like that. That's good. Um, I feel like maybe we should move these roads either side of the um, expo center around so they cover a bit more. Like maybe up to here. That's so much better. We can have offices next to the expo center. They'll be they'll be very pleased about that. This road here, I think, is fine. Um, we don't need to move it down. Now, let's fill in that area as well. Well, we're gonna have a bunch of little offices around here. Apparently, not sure if happy about that. Let me brush. Remove those. We don't want a whole bunch of little offices. We'll put we'll put some trees up around the expo center. I think. Um, Put your offices around here, though. Just fill in all these weird little bits. That's good. That is good. Um, we need to get rid of this. Like, um, there's, a, there's a bit there that we want to actually be connected to the road. Um, let's get rid of that. So, um, we want the big brush. Or just like the three. Okay. Yeah, we'll get rid of the four. Um, and then this will all just be commercial, most likely. Um, but, rather than one. That is not intentional. Alright, let's just turn that one street there into a one-way. I can't tell if that's... Yeah, that's not... A, uh, that is entering. Yes. We just want that to enter. Oh no, it should be okay from this road. Yeah, it should be okay. Because this road doesn't connect up to the highway. We may want it to in future, but for now I think it's fine. I'm um, just going to make sure we upgrade that back to a two-way road. Alright. Let's get those areas marked out again. Whoops. No, we want the flood fill. Yeah, we may have Alright. Um, now, let's make sure. Actually, do we want to put some commercial on this road just to make sure that stuff connects up? Maybe like smack smack. I know. Hopefully get built in. 
Um, we'll go over this road and we'll make sure we don't build too much commercial. Actually, we probably want it before the um, intersection there. So that, you know, that will get the most traffic, most likely. Um, unless people come from up here, but I seriously doubt that's going to happen so much. Um, Alright, we'll unpause. We'll let that build. We're going to put some stuff in. We're not going to put in our footy fields into the office district, so we're not going to do that. Um, you may... Oh no, it's getting kicked up to power pretty quick. Alright. Um, plazas. That's plaza with trees. Alright. Look like a nice plaza next to the expo center, perhaps. Right there. That looks good. Um, we'll put in some smaller plazas as well. Like, right here. That's good. Do another one. We can get a bit like a larger. Oh, this is a park, isn't it? No. That's a playground. It's just a park for trees, and I know this is very large, so we're not going to do that one. Um, come down to like here, to a park, plaza, outside the road. Um, we'll do one more up here near the intersection. Like, are you there? I did say near the intersection, but I, I moved it across. Let's actually move that. We'll put it right near the intersection. So. And the power's all get, gotten connected up. Fantastic. Um, we do need to get. Um, police force and everything on this side of the island. Um, so we're going to get a police station down somewhere around the corner here because we've got the one up on this side. We'll put one on down on this side. So we'll probably have it like next to the highway. Because the, the police won't mind about the traffic on the highway. Um, so we'll put that there. And we'll put down a fire station as well because we definitely need one. We want to have a larger fire station to get plenty of coverage and put up somewhere up here. Like maybe there. Alright, um, we should need a hospital over here. Um, we've got that hospital that's covering up most of the town um, out in this area so far. Um, that should be fine. Cool. Alright, now. We have to figure out the name of this area. Um, well, the island. We'll figure, we'll figure out the name for it. To be completely unoriginal, we'll just call it like New Camilo Island. Um, but we will get into that. We'll figure something out. Um, okay. Cool. One of the things we'll probably end up doing out here, maybe, maybe it might help with the traffic situation even. Um, one of the things we lack right now is a bus service that gets people out here. Um, we can actually do rail right now. Is it new railway? Oh, it's the railway station. It's the rural station. We don't need that. We don't need the rural station. Um, we probably want to actually do a railway out here, and we have access to the rail line. Um, so previously when I actually did a map, what I had was a really kind of, like all of my all of my major public transport was done via the rail, like uh, above ground rail rather than um, the, rather than subways. This time around we're going to have like above ground rail to bring people into major parts of the town um, and we'll have the underground rail kind of be to move people around, you know, um, specific areas and then you'll have the, the buses kind of being the last kind of way that people get around. We'll probably keep the buses to, to kind of the um, residential areas, whereas we will have like a um, underground rail like running from this district over to this district and have a couple of stations over here. We'll probably have a couple of stations up along the coast over here as well. This will probably end up being dense as well down here. So we'll have, we'll have them all over the place, but suburbia will remain just being buses because the traffic isn't going to be so bad. I guess we can do that. Um, all right. Fair enough. Um, we want to figure out this traffic situation because right now this is actually getting really, really bad. Um, the reason all these cars are up here is because we kind of had the the, the slapped on um, fix of not allowing traffic in you know to, through these areas unless they were moving uh, to the left. Um, so now everything in order to go to the right is going up in the lanes where they are actually allowed to go to the right. Um, so traffic isn't moving particularly fast up there. We need to figure that out. Um, but I'm not sure if we want to do that right now. Traffic down here isn't actually that bad. Traffic is moving through surprisingly smoothly. Um, I mean, it's it's definitely a long kind of line to get in there, but it's not backed up. That's the main thing, right? Um, our industrial office demand has gone down. We still have a bit of a demand for, for commercial. Um, we haven't used up all the buildings here just yet. That's weird. I got rid of those. Um, we'll put small commercial buildings down there. Um, surprised we don't have more demand for um, stuff. Yes, this is interesting. This has been here for a while now. 
what about, what about the cops here? The, the police should be covering that area. I suppose the police just don't have much reason to do a beat out this way, right? Like, hmm, interesting. Are you the culprit? Robert Mason, highly educated young adult. Worker at Master Architects. Which is, uh, there it is, Master Architects. Itsy Bitsy Critter. They've got two logos, and it's very loud down there. Um, right, we've got stuff getting abandoned. No customers. Alright. I kind of figured that would happen. So what we might do in future is... Because, I mean, there's, there's never going to be any customers coming this way, basically. Um, they're going to be sticking to the roads up here, um, where they're going to have access to their residential areas, you know? Um, so down on this side, we may want to actually have just offices along this road, essentially. Um, so for now, I'm actually going to go in here. I'm going to just preemptively dezone all the stuff here. Because it's going to have problems with um, customers, so let's just get rid of it. Um, this area up here, basically along this road up the top, is going to be fine. But this area down here, not so much. Um, we'll, so we'll put offices and such along there, that'll be fine. Traffic's building up there again, but it's still moving smoothly. Wow, the... What is going on with the police out here? Why are the police doing anything about this? Do we need to put, like, a, its own little individual police station here? It's insane. Hmm. No, no, the, the crime rate is kind of getting dealt with. Sports car. Anyway. I, keep, I say it gets, it's getting dealt with, but then it just keeps on popping back up. Police, why? Like, the police station is literally right there. Why aren't they doing anything? Police cars and use is already very high. Maybe we need a um, second police station to just kind of help with the first, just like a standard little police station. We probably, we probably do need one. Like, look at this. We haven't got actually that much coverage in the center, the center area here, so we might want to put, like, a you know, police station in the center. Smack that, smack that there. And that should... Help. Helps a little. You might want to actually connect these. Uh, maybe we should do an overpass, actually. Let's do that. That should have the um, police able to get from one area to the other a bit easier. So, go up to here. Across. We probably want to destroy a bit of this. That's not so bad. That's not so bad at all. Alright, let's get offices in here again. So now that should help with the police coverage a bit. Uh, it helps a little bit. We need to do the other side as well though. So this needs an overpass as well. Alright, so we want this to come out to here. Not enough room. Great. Um, we'll just have it go up and across. Can we have, have it all the way down there? No. Let's unsnap for now, because that snapping isn't allowing to snap in the general vicinity of where that road is. So let's put it there, have it come down, and just, let's just, I don't want the, the, the ramp to be too long, so we'll have to do that. That's better, that's cool. Alright. Excellent. Let's get some, make sure we just round all out. Excellent. That's the spot. Now that should definitely help with the police coverage, yeah. It's still not fantastic, um, but it's definitely better than it was. Like, I'm honestly kind of surprised it's that bad. We may want to put like an intersection, just like running along adjacent, but that that seems like a, like overkill, honestly. Um, we'll leave it for now. Like, we'll, we'll see how the, the police coverage in that area goes and see how we can just act on it as necessary, basically. Um, traffic is gone. That is genuinely surprising. I wonder why that is. That is genuinely surprising. Alright. We haven't actually renamed the area, so we haven't actually gotten names from this stuff yet. We, got, we called this the Aurora University and such, but we didn't actually name the area. Hmm. We need to figure out this, tra uh, this traffic situation. Let's do that. It gives us time to, to consider 
what's happening with the, the naming conventions. Um, traffic isn't actually backing up, it's flowing, it's just there's a lot of it. There's a, there's a shit ton of the traffic. Of the traffic? There's a shit ton of traffic. Um, so we want to find a way to kind of figure this out. Let's pause. Let's start removing roads. Let's start upgrading other roads here. So we want these one-way streets to be two-way for now. So we can figure out, you know, with a fresh, clean slate, what we're doing. Um, we'll leave in this two-lane thing we've got going on. Um, I think that's fine. But we will kind of connect it further down. So, let's do that. Come from here, down to here, maybe. Yeah, that should be fine. I will bring this out. Bit of a wonky bit there. That's much better. Look at that. Perfect. All right. No, it does actually look a bit long, wonky, but let's fix it anyway. There we go. Much better. Okay. Um, so we want to keep those because we want to make it easy for the cars to kind of have like this interesting overpass to get in and out of here. And we want to minimize the amount of stops that um, cars in any particular lane need to make, right? Now, we may want to actually redesign the shape of the east part of the Keldud, <laughs> um, uh, the, the new Camilo high explosive drug lab district. Um, I'm really not, ha not happy with that kind of road layout. It is a fucking mess. Um, but we don't want to do that until we have a higher demand for industry. Because um, if we just demolish this stuff, it's going to be very, very hard to get back, basically. Um, speaking of, there is actually a sort of part down here where it's not so interesting. I don't know if I demolished that or what. Um, right. So, if we want to get down in here and have a look at our road situation and how we can get traffic in and out of here, fairly quickly and easily. So we've got this nice main road along here, but it has a lot of intersections, which means there's going to be a lot of cars coming in and out of here that are going to be stopping to, to exit, right? Um, so we want to have some way of just having a nice flowing exit that the cars can get in and out of, which I don't know if that's going to be possible simply because of the, the fact that we have all these interconnecting roads, right? Um, in fact, we may want to actually swap one of these downward facing roads for a sideward facing road, because We've got all these, this intersection long here. We want to have like an intersection along here, and then that frees up this road to just kind of be. Well, that, that frees up the top and bottom roads to be doing whatever. Um, this one still kind of becomes the, the best intersection to get on and off at. Um, Alright. We probably just want to have it connect up at either end. So we probably just want to have it like, you know, you. you it does mean that all the traffic comes and goes out. I suppose, like, if we enter in this side, and then, you know, traffic kind of filters through and comes out this side, that might work. Um, that might work. Alright, let's have a connect up here. So we'll have a one-way road, and we'll just... Nope, we don't want that. We want it to be straight and just snap. Just have it come straight out to here. And we'll just connect up with that one-way road. There won't be any stoplights or anything like that. There'll be a giveaway, you know, no right turn. Well, actually, there's not even a giveaway, so... Don't turn, turn the wrong way, basically. Um, and then on this road... Hmm... We probably, can we, if we connect up here, does that create street lights? Mm, yes. Did that create street lights or were they already there? Okay, street lights only exist for this part of the intersection. That's interesting. I wonder if it's because it's a right angle. No, it's not. Okay. Whoops. Alright. That ended up being quite successful. Um, Alright, well, th there's always going to be street lights there, but th right now this intersection isn't a huge 
problem. So we will have just we'll just put the end. Castle have to stop these streetlights here. So it might cause a bit of a backup of trying to get into the industrial district. Give it a shot. We'll give it a shot, we'll see what happens. If it doesn't work, then it doesn't work, we fix the problem. We'll do that. Alright. Keep on hitting escape. Let's just see what happens. That backed up immediately, look at that. The traffic lights there are not ideal. Alright, we will we will come back to that. I might do that between episodes even and figure out. Because it's not particularly interesting, right? It's just how do we get stuff into this area? Um, we may just do another overpass. Um, just have like cars, because this is this is just entering this district, right? Um, if we can have these cars here, kind of avoid this intersection, it's fine. Um, if if there is for some reason heavy traffic coming into here, they can come into here however they want. That's fine. We just don't want cars exiting out here. Um, we want cars just to be constantly exiting out here. Um, though that has also created traffic problems. On here. Frickin' fantastic. Um, okay. Wonderful. Alright, we're gonna call it there for now. Um, I'm gonna have a look at what I can do to fix the McKeld, McKelded, um, and see what I can do about the traffic situation in here. Um, we still need to come up with a name for this, so I will solve that problem, and I will see you all next time.